Now, let's discuss about polar curve in polar coordinate. Before this, in two-dimensional coordinate system, if you are given with equation, for example, y is equal to x squared, you will know that that equation is actually equation which will produce a parabola. So right now, we are going to discuss about uh, some equation that will produce some curve in polar coordinates which we are going to call that curve as polar curve. So in this case, you will see that from time to time, we will discuss about family of circles, family of limacon, and also family of rose curve. Okay. These are types of polar curve in polar coordinates. So we will discuss on family of circle first. As you can see from this example, this is actually a type of equation that will produce polar curve that looks like a circle, such as r is equal to 3. So there, there is actually an explanation why r is equal to 3 will represent a circle in polar coordinate system. Okay, so by using the relationship between rectangular and polar coordinate system, we know that r is equal to z, x squared plus y squared. So by replacing r with this expression, you will get z x squared plus y squared equal to 3 and x squared plus y squared equal to 9. So obviously, in two-dimensional coordinate system, this is actually an expression that will produce a circle in two-dimensional coordinate system. But when it comes to polar coordinate system, we are going to have r is equal to 3. So it should tell you that you are going to sketch a circle, and this circle, the center is at the origin. In this case, I will have this type of circle, where the center is at the origin and at the same time the radius is r is equal to 3. Alright, so this is your circle r is equal to 3. Next example, r is equal to 2 sine theta is actually another type of equation that will produce circle in polar coordinates. Um, you can always uh, Remember or memorize which equation will produce which polar curve. But I'm trying to give you reason why r is equal to 2 sine theta will produce a circle. So as you can see from here, uh, you can always relate with two-dimensional coordinate system just to get yourself uh, very clear with this type of equation. So, in order to simplify or convert this expression from polar to rectangular, I'm going to multiply the whole expression which is written in terms of polar coordinates with r. I will get r squared equal to 2r sine theta. And then r squared is x squared plus y squared equal to 2y by using the relationship between rectangular and polar coordinates. So, as you can see from here, you can always approach this expression and try to simplify it further by using concept of completing the square. So, I'm going to do the completing the square. If you think that you cannot understand what completing the square is, perhaps you can go to the nearest library and read some books or you can simply Google it, how to do completing the square for quadratic expression. So in this case, I will get x squared plus y squared minus 2y equal to 0. x squared plus y squared minus 2y plus minus 2 over 2 squared minus minus 2 over 2 squared equal to 0. Alright, so I'm going to apply the completing the square technique. I'm going to write it as simple as CTS, which represent completing the square, I will get x squared plus y minus 1 squared equal to minus 2 over 2 squared, x squared plus y minus 1 squared equal to 
one. So this is actually uh, an expression which will produce a circle the center 0, 1 with radius r is equal to 1. So in this case, when I try to illustrate in polar coordinates, I will know that I need to locate where my 0, 1 first. My 0, 1 is somewhere over here. And then it should tell me that this is actually a circle with center at 0, 1. And at the same time, the radius is 1. And we also know that the, read, uh, the diameter of this circle is actually 2. So r is equal to 2 sine theta will give you a circle where the center is at 0, 1. The radius is 1 and the diameter of the circle is 2. So, you should see that from time to time, when it comes to families of circle and families of lima con, whenever you see the sine function, it will always associate with a, uh, a curve which will uh, symmetry about y axis. Whenever you see cosine function for families of uh, circle and families of lima con, it will always associate with a curve or a polar curve which will be symmetric about x axis all right so you can roughly imagine what will happen if i have r is equal to 2 cosine theta so eventually you can always use the approach which i have mentioned earlier such as you try to convert this expression which is written in terms of polar coordinate to rectangular coordinate and then try to deduce with that kind of expression which is written in terms of rectangular coordinate what will the curve looks like in two-dimensional coordinate system somehow it will resemble the similar curve in polar coordinates so I will get r squared equal to 2 r cosine theta x squared plus y squared equal to 2 x by applying the completing the squared, I will have x minus 1 squared plus y squared equal to 1. So it should tell you, you are going to sketch a circle in polar coordinate system where the center is at 1, 0, the diameter is 2 and the center is at 1, 0. So this is the circle you will sketch, alright? Okay, please remember from time to time, if you do a lot of exercises by that, you will know that r is equal to some cosine function. Uh, in terms of families of circle, it will produce a circle which will be symmetric about x axis. What do I mean by symmetric? As you can see from r is equal to 2 sine theta and r is equal to uh, 2 cosine theta, you will see that it, if it is symmetric about y axis, the portion of the left side and the portion of the circle at the right side will be equal, alright?